Hey guys, welcome to my tackle room. Uh, I want to teach you guys today one of my favorite knots to tie a straight chain flipping hook on the end of my flipping stick and that's the snail knot. I've seen this knot tied a whole lot of times and I've seen it tied very few times correctly. So come on over here. I'll show you all the pieces to the puzzle here and I'll teach you guys how to tie the perfect Randall Tharp snail knot. So here's one complete. You can see all the pieces. So we've got bobber stoppers, four aught VMC straight shank flipping hook, and we've got a one ounce arc tungsten sinker. Now this knot is really easy to tie with braided line. I would recommend braided line over fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon tends to slip and it's not quite as easy. So when you're tying this knot for the first time, let's practice with braid. So this is 50 pound suffix. First thing I'm gonna do is take the bobber stopper, it's got a little hole. You thread that through the hole and pull. So you can see the bobber stopper's on the line and I'll slide it up the line about a foot to give me enough play so I can tie the knot. Then you thread your sinker on there, just like so. Just go ahead and get that out of the way. And then you're gonna take your flipping hook. Always run the line through the top of the eye. Go down through the top because if you come through the bottom, the cam action that this has is gonna go the wrong way. So sometimes when you're blind like me, it's a little difficult to get it through there. So I went down through the top and I'm gonna get a little bit of slack in there. And then I'm gonna wrap it around the hook and go straight back down through the exact same way. And I like to have approximately an inch and a half right there. So you can see, this is the line going to my rod. That's the line I ran back through and there's two lines. You got your tag end and this line on the bottom of that hook chain. So I'm gonna draw a little line from my, from my rod Two lines on the bottom, that one coming out the top. And then I, I simply just take these two fingers and I pinch it just like that. So now what you wanna do is you wanna start this top line and you wanna wrap the hook shank. And as I'm wrapping, I'm gonna do a half a turn. So see this line, I'm wrapping two lines on the bottom. So my number seven times, there's three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now, now that you've done seven, eight wraps, you can do as many as you, I like to do at least that many, there's no way it'll ever slip. Then you're just gonna pull the line that's going to your rod and it's gonna tighten everything up. just like that. Now the only other thing I do to complete this knot is I take this tag in, I'll grab it with my pliers and just cinch everything down just like that. And then you can clip this tag end off. And there it is, the perfect snail knot. Now you can see there's no line on the outside of these wraps. Most people I see tie that have that line on the outside of the wraps and it's not nearly as strong a knot as the lines being under the wraps. So your line's coming out the top. You see that's very clean and neat. And you can slide your weight back down put your favorite piece of plastic on that. And let me show you why this knot's so effective. So you flip it in a piece of cover and you get a bite and that fish eats it. So take my hand as a fish's mouth. He comes and grabs it like that. Well, when you set the hook, what's the first thing that hits a fish's mouth? The first thing that hits a fish's mouth is this weight. So what happens when the weight hits a fish's mouth? It springs that hook. That's why I smell knot 
is the best knot you can tie with a straight shank flipping hook and that's what makes it super efficient. So I hope you guys learned something today. Try the snail knot, you won't be disappointed.